Good afternoon. Welcome to our Thursday Live and welcome in my barefoot studio. I hope that I'm the instrument today to inspire you to unleash that creativity that might be hidden somewhere inside. I'm Nadine Mama Choco and it's lovely to be back. Welcome. No matter where in the world you are watching, our Choco family in Switzerland, our Choco family in Australia, New Zealand, Mauritius. Um, if I left anyone out, Namibia, welcome to our sunny, beautiful South Africa with people that fill your heart with joy and love. Sit back, relax, enjoy, and let me be the instrument to inspire. Today I'm going to show you some few easy techniques i'm not an artist but i love being creative and i hope that this will be infectious um, is that even an english word yeah that this will be contagious that you will feel inspired and ready to make whatever is inside inside or around your own space beautiful in a few easy steps i'm going to work on canvas and this will be more or less the end result although this was done very late last night, I'm going to show step by step how to create your own art. But these techniques and steps can also be applied onto a wall surface, onto a furniture piece, onto a piece of art. So I'm going to start with a blank canvas. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going, or I have already, mixed my stencil of Paris paste. This is the paste if you are new and you are watching for the first time, please go um, subscribe to our YouTube channel, turn on your notifications. This is a paste that I've shown so many ways of uses and of application. Today I've actually thinned it with some cool boiled water. So it's actually much more runny for the next step. So I'm going to first of all create some texture on my canvas. So I'm dipping a Hamilton's blending brush. This is what it looks like. Any paintbrush can be used but this is so comfortable for this application. And I'm spreading some paste over my canvas. Change direction. So this is, I don't, I'm not sure if you can see the change on the canvas, but what it actually does, it creates some texture. So it's not a flat, smooth surface anymore. It is now something with texture. And I'm moving my brush in different directions. This is to create texture and the reason for me moving in different directions is to create different textures on different areas. So it's not even, it's art, it is, um, it is unplanned at this point because it's a complete blank surface I'm working on. Okay, so I hope this step makes sense. What you can do is you can allow in between various steps, just some drying time, due to the fact that I'm doing this live, there isn't any time for me to wait for anything to dry. So I'm just going to be creative and enjoy every moment of the creative process. Okay, so this step is complete. I have some texture, different areas on my canvas. This is also a step that you can repeat right at the end to mute any colors if you want to mute anything or just create a subtle change to your surface. Okay, this step done. So I've created texture. What I'm going to do next is I am going with even with the same brush just wipe it clean with a clean rag, dip it, and I'll mention the colors as I use them. 
These are sample pots I'm using today and you actually don't need any more than this. With these pots I've created the art last night and I still have so much left. So the first color I'm going to use is Ishmael's Ish. We have a beautiful chocolate book where we actually tell where each color originates from, who the person is that the color is named after and what that person looks like. So if you wonder who these people are, you can read more about them in our choco book. Okay, so I'm now going to add some Ishmael's Ish on my canvas. I have some water in the spray bottle, not sanitizer, and I'm spraying quite generously for that, those colors to start running. And I'm even spraying downwards, so it's a gradual change of color. On the areas above where I feel there's too much paint, I take a damp sponge, kitchen sponge. These are things we all have in our houses, and we can actually create art with them. You don't need anything fancy. We have Monica with us. Monica was a client that joined us earlier this afternoon. Grab a chair, Monica. Make yourself at home. We have a Monica working in the store and a Monica visiting us. So I'm adding some water, kitchen sponge, and I'm simply dabbing to create a softer version of my color. And I'm going to repeat this on other areas of my canvas as well. So it's Ishmael's Ish. I'm just dabbing. I want to create some color and a dripping effect over there. It's just water. So it's water and a kitchen sponge. And what I'm doing is I'm blending the color in. So I'm, my first base coat and base colors I'm using are natural colors. So it doesn't matter where this will be used, whether it's in an area with more brown undertones or gray undertones, and you will see now what I'm going to do. The background will work. So I'm now going to add some, and even with the same paintbrush, just cleaning it. I'm dipping my same paintbrush in the next color, which is Sheriff Stone, and that's like a charcoal color. If this canvas is used in a dark area with grey tones or with brown tones, it will work. And I'm Ah, oh, there's a question. Where does Foloso come from? I love it. Foloso is one of the newest additions to our Choco family, both in color, but also in person. So our head tinter um, is Comfort, and the Choco color that's named after her is Comfort's Blue. And Comfort is like a grandmother to my own children, and her daughter, Foloso, started working for us more or less a year and a half back, maybe longer. And she is as vibrant, as lively, as humoristic, as funny as her mom. And we've also incorporated her color in the same color family as Comfy. So they are mother and daughter, both working in the chocolate factory. So I'm just adding more color. And as you can see, the change is gradual and you can play around with colors that you like. 
So I'm dabbing, dabbing, changing my background. Can you imagine this technique to be applied onto a wall? I think Yaku will be, my husband Yaku, will be very nervous initially. The children um, these days keep quiet if I start changing anything. But Yaku still is anxious at times until the job is done. The men must just learn to trust us. Okay, so I am dabbing, changing. And now I'm going to use my mom, lovely Lorinda, because she is just a lovely color to use everywhere. So lovely Lorinda is like a muted, dusty pink. Something that's beautiful for a background, for a focus piece, for absolutely anything. So let me show you the pot. Lovely Lorinda. This is named after my mom, Monica. She loves painting. And I've mentioned it quite a few times. When I was growing up and when we were walking to school, in the mornings our house was one color. And when we got, walked back to, to home, to our house after school, my mom changed the entire faca facade of the house. And so many days we just walked past our house, not knowing that it, it was ours, because my mom loves painting. Um, and I told my brother, Tinas, so many times, if there's one thing I will never do, is that I will never paint. What am I doing today? So never say never. Okay, I'm just... <laughs> Good afternoon. You grab him a chair, Monica. Let him sit with us. Welcome to our chocolate store. Okay, so I'm just adding lovely Lorinda here and there. Let me just clean my brush a bit. This is a creative process, and due to the fact that it's a creative process, it's a lengthy process, so be patient where you are watching. So I'm adding lovely Lorinda, same process applies. I let it drip, I let it run. And last color I'm going to use, let me just add something here at the bottom as well, is And here I just want to blend some bit. So I can't see what you're seeing because you're looking on a screen. So if there are lines, you can take them out. What is also important is while you're busy working, allow some drying time in between here and there. Just to stand back, take a look at what you've created and make changes where you feel changes are needed. So nothing is ever cast in stone. Anything can be changed. The last color I'm going to add to my background is Olivia's pale. And Olivia has such a beautiful color. Let me show you. It's like a dusty olive color. And she was actually the first lady that started the choco journey with me. So it was only the two of us, one table, and we did all the packaging, all the orders in the beginning. Today, Olivia is working in the admin side of the business. And that is what Choco is all about, to empower, create job opportunities, and to see how people can grow. Sorry if you hear noise through the mic on my apron. I'm just dabbing and creating a background. So what I do now is I actually blend a bit so that the colors are just joined nicely. I clean my sponge in between. And if you are a color lover, 
and you want to use bright vibrant colors you can use anything that makes you happy my next step will be to add some colors so can you imagine this on a wall as a focal wall okay next is a palette knife let me just find the one that I like to use so here's a palette knife and just some choco colors and I just want to have a squeeze to see what I have done last night okay so I'm going to work with a few colors I'll mention them as I go Nade is the first that's named after me and I can just start being creative and a family membership card can be used. It's not Yaku's credit card. Yaku's credit card is in my purse. <laughs> and of course, I'm now working on a wet surface, but I can play around. I'm not using a brush. I'm using a palette knife and I spread my paint in different directions. And I want to add some yellow. And I want to add some stencil of Paris. To create some texture before I start applying more colors so here I'm playing with some stencil of Paris this is the paste that I showed right in the beginning discount card for <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so this is our our discount card um, <laughs> that I don't think I will receive any more discount with because it's full of paint Okay, so I am, um, so previously, right in the beginning, I showed the stencil of Paris that we've actually mixed with some water to create the texture at the bottom. This paste, I have not mixed with water. So this is the paste in the original form. It's more thick, so that I can create some texture to work with. Yaku is having a great chuckle. What is so funny, Yaku? <laughs> Yaku is very concerned because he won't get any more discount. <laughs> so I'm playing around. And you, okay, tip. This is the tip for the day. When you do this, take off your shoes, switch on the radio, play your most favorite music. Um, if you like wine, pour a glass of wine. If you like tea, make yourself a strong cup of tea. Relax and have fun. The main thing is, it's a creative process. So enjoy the journey. I think so many times we are afraid of what other people think and say that we forget to enjoy life. We only live once. We are here to enjoy every moment. I'm dipping my spatula or palette knife in some pretty spink and pretty is a pretty person and a pretty color. It's Suzuki's wife. Now Suzuki, you have seen with me in the store and he's the person responsible for my sanity. Here is some Bob's Blue. So Bob, I have shared Bob's story with you before. If you have missed that session, please go look on our YouTube channel. And I'm just spreading. Different directions. Little tools. And let's use some um, Jane's Jade. Jane is furniture in the Choco and Paint Master factory. Janie, I'm missing you. Cheers. Now 
mixing colors. I'm dabbing where I want to blend anything out. And it's all about having fun. Let's add some shadows at the top. And then the most important step right at the end is to sign your artwork, to know that you have done it, that you have been creative and that you have created something. My message for this week is you are the only person that can create colorful moments in your own life. So don't let any opportunity miss you or get missed to create that, that color and that beauty in your own story. We all are busy writing a story. Write yours fearlessly and with color. And I'm going to play more. I hope the steps make sense. You can write at the end add some stencil of Paris that we've started the journey with at the beginning. So I've done this on this canvas, just added some stencil of Paris mixed with the water that we started with in the beginning. And each piece will be unique, because we are all unique. Enjoy the week ahead, stay safe, stay blessed, enjoy every moment and live in color. Bye.